Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. All this week I am going to be making thank you cards. Stamping up, I've got a, a what they're calling a service day. It's for a charity to make cards for homeless, the homeless charity who help people um, get accommodation and whatnot. And Stampin' Up! wants to make over 400 cards, so I am going to make 10. So today being the first one, I am going to make this one. What I'm going to do is make 5. I've made 5. And obviously when I film them, I'll have another 5. That'll be my 10 cards. I'm going to put a video out every day this week of the 10 cards. So, um... By the time you see this, they'll already have received them. So today, to make this card, we are using a few stamp sets. We're going to be using Falling Flower of oh, Ignore Me um, Masks. I had to make some more because I threw the other ones out. And we're going to be using this stamp flower and this little flower. We're also going to use Love What You Do and we're just going to use that leaf and All That You Are and we're going to use that sentiment. So, the cardstock you need, I'm going to change to Calypso Coral is eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four or one eighth, and folded in half and burnished. I've actually done it. Two pieces of Whisper White, one for the front, and one for the inside. A bit of Baker's twine at about twelve inches, thirteen inches. This bit is, and this is Calypso Coral Baker's twine post-it note to make the straight line and a couple of pearls, three pearls which are coloured in with the Calypso, dark Calypso Coral um, blender pen. So to get started, oh I also did the inside, I did a flower each on the inside and the word thank you. So this is my front of my card with a post-it note. Let's see how far I came down. Ah. Right, so if I put that on there and with a post-it note I will place this using my grid paper so I know it's straight. Like that. My black ink and my stamp. So what I'm going to do, ink them up. And these stamps have got a little nodule, knobbly bit on it. That's for when you put die cut them. So you know which way to put your die up. So I'm going to make sure that bit hits the paper. Hits the post-it note. And you post, stamp rather, a little bit of the flower on the post-it note. And then, just so we can get a straight line, that's one. Then we use our masks, where are they? Cover it up. Put another one. Might as well cover that one up now. And another one the other side of it. 
and cover that one up. And we got our little flower and put one of them either side. And we'll cover them up. Finish with our black for now. And then I've got Mossy Meadow and Old Olive. And with our leaf, I'll go Old Olive first. We just go round. I'm going to get it on my grid paper, never mind. And just place some leaves all the way around. Oh, just notice one of the as well. And then go around again with Mossy Meadow. For all I don't think that's got any sticky on it. So right, I'll colour that in in a nice dark one. So that is all our leaves, all covered up, I hope. Hopefully none of these stamps. Right, put the ink away. Don't need these. Take this off. And we have a straight line. I'm going to put this back on. Just so I can colour the flowers in. And I'm using Calypso Coral. Just colour in the three big flowers in Calypso Coral. Hopefully that will um, leave a straight line. And then we want Daffodil Delight for the 
circles. Center of the flowers. And I'm going to colour the outside ones. Um, what colour should I do then? Let's do them in red. Real red. Oh, that's gone down. Right. Now this will go over that. Like that. Just putting that there so I know where to stamp the sentiment. Right. The sentiment well put down here. Try putting that straight. Good. This is going to go crossed over around there. So I want, I haven't used these for ages, so I don't know where they are. I want my glue dots. I found them. What I'm going to do, oh, they're nearly done. I'm going to place one right in the middle because when I cross this over so I'm gonna place them in the middle and then I'm going to get some double sided tape and tape them down. Cut this off. Right, and do the same with this one. Work out all right. Need that. All right, I've got a little bit thingy left, so I'm going to make a bow. I don't want a big bow. I only need a little bow. And that's going to stick on there. So I will cut these off. I'm 
Just a spot of glue. And place that there. And that is our front done. Now we've got the inside to do. I don't need these anymore, so I'll just put them there out the way. So with the front, what I did, and no, not the front, the inside, I just stamped a flower in two corners and the word thank you in the middle Is it? Left it about a bit and colour them in. Oh. I have trouble getting that daffodil to light lid off sometimes. things over. Right, clips of coral light and we'll just colour these flowers in. Miserable day today. So this week you're going to have a video every day with just the five thank you cards. They're all different, some take two minutes, some take ten minutes. Well, you know me, a little bit longer. By the time you're watching this, these would have already been posted off to Stamping up. I hope they get their 400 cards. When you think about it, you only need 40 demonstrators to make 10 cards. So, we just need to put this together now. Right, what I did on this was actually lift the double-sided tape. And then put glue on. Put 
put this on the outside. Applying an extra bit of pressure where the baker's twine is. Do this one inside. All right, and now we're just going to put our pearls on, which have already coloured in and there you have it one I think it's pretty. I must thank you, it's not very straight. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and press the bell button next to it, and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.